So uh, until now, there has been a lot of discussion about climate change. A lot of people talk about it in very ominous terms. So let me talk about it in a little different way, a little positive manner, rather than all the negative uh, doomsday predictions. Uh, so uh, it, is, it is known now that uh, the soil below our feet has more carbon than us all combined, all our structures, all the plants on this planet. How much more? It's one million million kilograms. We call it one pen, more than one pentagram. Uh, so this is basically uh, a lot of carbon sitting right below our feet. And in terms of what you have heard about climate change, if it comes up, out in the atmosphere, we are doomed, right? So uh, we don't want that to happen. So of course, there are mechanisms in place which don't let this happen so easily. One of the mechanisms is microorganisms. So all plants under themselves have a large body of microorganisms. How many? 10 million of them. And these 10 million, yes, they are difficult to study, and, but we have found ways to study them. Um, they have two things in common with, uh, they have two things in common with a lot of other organisms. One, they have DNA, and that's their genetic information, and they have RNA, which is also genetic information, but more useful in day-to-day -day activities. So what we do is we look at these, uh, these informative molecules and try to understand what these uh, organisms are doing. So from our perspective, plants are basically big pipes transferring carbon from the atmosphere into the soil. But from a microorganism's perspective, plants are nothing but a big supermarket, a lot of food. And they want, to buy, they want to get this food. They don't want to buy it necessarily, but they want to get this food. So plants have a very clever way of controlling the supply of this food. They have hired an agent. They have given or outsourced this job to a notorious fungi. This fungi is very ruthless. He doesn't like to give carbon away so easily. And he actually doesn't like microbes either. So he is all for an all-out war between microbes for food. Yeah? So what he does, basically, he invites all of them together. He goes to soil, various parts of soil, and he finds people who are interested in this carbon. He just goes to them and says, would you like some? And they say, yeah, ob obviously, I'm starved. I would like some food. And they, he offers them food. But there is a big, uh, you sign the deal with the devil over here. So in return for that food, the microbe has to basically give away his life, give away all the nutrients he has to the plant. And this is, this is terrible, right? But that's how life is. A lot of it is terrible. So uh, this, this keeps on going. So how do we monitor this? So what we do is we spike the food. So we spike the carbon that is coming to the plant. So in turn, this agent of the plant has the same labeled carbon. Now the thief is tagged. We have put the bell on the neck of the cat. And we just follow this bell wherever it rings. And we take DNA, which basically tells us which microbes are there. We take RNA, which then tells us who is active or who wants to be active. So these are the motivated people. What we observe is that the population based on DNA is shrinking. Whereas the population based on RNA is actually expanding. So what we mean by this is that some microbes are dying, but some microbes are getting ready for a fight. And they are arming up. They want to do more. And they want to basically defeat this agent and get all the carbon. So that's where the fear comes from. That's why biologists or biogeochemists are fearful. They are fearful that someday these microbes will become bold enough to start defeating these controls, these agents who are maintaining this war. And they will basically defeat it and let out this 2,400 petagrams of carbon in our, below our feet. We don't want this, right? So if we don't want this, that's why we study the inhabitants of soil to understand how we can stop this. And it is only by measuring this black box of microorganisms in soil can we understand how to stop them from releasing so much of carbon out in the atmosphere. All hope is not lost. We, we probably will find a solution to this. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Soma.